My name is James Prosek, and I'm one of four artists that are part of an exhibition called Fragile Earth. So this is a, a hand-painted mural of silhouettes of animals with numbers next to each animal. And I paint the silhouettes and the numbers, but there's no key. A lot of what my work is about is reminding people that the, the lines we draw in nature in order to communicate are uh, part of a map and then they're not the actual world. So they're a map we use to navigate the terrain, but they're not the actual terrain. Humans like to draw lines, not just conceptual lines on maps, but actual lines on the landscape, fences, dams, things that mark property lines. Oftentimes animals don't know they're there or animals move and migrate and have to cross these lines. So a lot of the stories and themes I'm trying to convey are about the boundlessness and the namelessness of nature. So I draw these parallels between the act of naming and drawing physical boundaries on the landscape. I like identifying and classifying things and I, and I feel like names have helped me see things that I wouldn't otherwise, but names can also limit the potential of what we see because once we know the name, we might think we know something about it and then we don't, the inquiry doesn't go any further. I think the message is spending time in nature, just being there. I made several visits to the Brandywine River area and I visited the laurels a couple times and, and there's a lot of farms and fences and so there's native plants that grow in the laurels preserve like butterfly weed, Asclepias tuberosa type of, of milkweed. There's another type of milkweed there, I think Asclepias syriaca, um, little blue stem grass, big blue stem. There's a meadow lark here. Um, all these animals and plants are native to this region and were, you know, part of, were gleaned through the research that I did in making the trips down here. I really like to make work that's specific to certain sites. And in this case, there's a rich history with this link between art and nature and art and conservation, which for me has always been intuitive, but I think this institution embodies that kind of cross-disciplinary behavior as well as any I can think of in the world. It's a beautiful place that's been preserved by like-minded people. So it's, yeah, it's been a really wonderful experience spending time here.